which is um, so that's why I say, you know, at the end of the day, what I'm doing is I'm taking that traumatic situation and I'm tapping with you in, on your field of energy. And we are going to disconnect the negative emotion, that negative thought. Why do you have that negative thought? I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. Those thoughts all come from somewhere. And we never stop to say, why am I having that thought? And those thoughts go back to a belief because a lot of it happens in our childhood and people say, oh, I'm just going to sweep it under the carpet. But the thing is, you can sweep as much as you want under the carpet, but it's still there. It's under the carpet. <laughs> so until you address it, you are not going to be able to move on. You're not going to be able to heal. You're not going to be able to let it go. And that's what tapping does. It stops the anxiety attacks. It stops the panic attacks. It stops that negative inner critic. Hello, everyone. It's Suzanne Paul from BU. Be extraordinary and empowered. Who better than you? Today, I have, like, it's the Suzanne show today because I've got with me Suzanne. Suzanne Ellison, who is an amazing coach and healer of people. And in particular, she works with people who've had negative thoughts and belief patterns for years, and they've manifested in like mm -hmm. chronic pain. So hello, Suzanne. First of all, great name. Hi, right? Suzanne. It's, yes, indeed. <laughs> it's it a great start. <laughs> it is a good start. And just for everybody, Suzanne means Lily. It, Shoshana, which is the Hebrew version, in means Lily. So we like like our, we are the Lilies today. Welcome to my channel. Be you. Be empowered. Extraordinary and empowered. And you know, I we you and I met at the Strategic Alliance Summit in January 2021, and then we've kind of touched base a few times since then. But I'm just really curious and fascinated by your work around pain and belief. So tell us about that. Right. Okay, with pleasure. My, my passion and my, yes, I can talk for hours about it, but I will limit it to the 15 minutes we have today. <laughs> so, you know um, me, strict on time. Carry on. Uh, so how, how did I get to where I, I got to? I, I mean, a lot of um, what I do is through um, my own personal experiences. So when I'm with a client, although everybody's experience is unique, um, we can empathize, can't we? So we, we, we have had a similar experience. We have an idea of what the person is feeling like. And I um, was living in a, in a, in an environment that uh, was great in some ways. I lived in Africa, and uh, but I lived in a very small community and it was limiting in many ways that left me feeling very negative and not happy basically. And the long and short of it is ultimately I ended up on an operating table because I had an abscess on my kidney, which uh, I thought, you know, oh, this pain will go away if I don't think about it. And I wasn't very good at, uh, still not very good at going to doctors because I believe that if I'm positive and I think positively, uh, you know, it will go away. But in this case, it didn't. And um, I ended up with an abscess on my kidney and, and, um, and on an operating table. And it left me thinking, why? Why did that happen? Why? I was a personal trainer at the time. And I was probably the fittest I've ever been. And yet I get a, a, an abscess on my kidney. Why did that happen? So I, I started to research it. And um, in doing a hypnotherapy course, I discovered a, uh, an alternative therapy method called EFT, which is, stands for emotional very key that emotional freedom technique, um, also known as tapping, because that's what you do. It's part of the acupressure family. So uh, in line with acupuncture, but no needles involved. <laughs> wow. So in, in what I found, so that's the method. But what's key is that what I found is that when you're constantly negative, when you're unhappy, when you focus on all the bad things and the what ifs and you just never feel happy, literally, I, I don't mean gloriously happy every minute of the day, but we are definitely negative. And when you think that we have between 20 and 70,000 thoughts every single day, and they say that 98% of those thoughts are negative, that's, that's, that in itself is overwhelming. And what happens is when you think negative all the time, that it, it changes emotions or chemical reactions. 
Mm-hmm. And, it, and, and negative thoughts create over time toxicity in your body and that toxicity has to be expressed in some way and the way it's expressed is through pain because the mind wants to distract you from the traumas or the negativity or the things that are upsetting you and so it expresses it through pain in the body um, and, and that is really key because there are so many illnesses now which are stress related and doctors don't have the answer to because who goes to a doctor and says, well, these are the kind of thoughts I've been having. Do you think they could be the cause of my stress and my, my illnesses, you know? Um, but, but what's more important is why we have those thoughts. Yeah. Where do those thoughts come from? Why do we have it? And why do we get into that cycle that we can't break where without even thinking about it, we think them over and over. What's your first thing when you think that you think when you wake up in the morning? Me? You know? Mine is, well, uh, how quickly can I get to the loo? <laughs> <laughs> So that, that's instinctive, but when it comes to what's happening in your life, uh, do you think, wow, what is that my Sorry, go on, ask, because I know the answer, but I, I like, I just want to hear the question. You know, do you wake up feeling glorious? Oh, I've woken up. I mean, just waking up is a, is a, is a gift. So do you think, oh, wow, another fantastic day, regardless of what the weather's doing, because in England, it's so hit and miss. So, you know, in Africa, it was easy to say what a glorious day because every day was sunny. But regardless here in England, do you wake up and think, oh, wow, what another amazing day I have? Or do you think, oh, God, bills and this and that, you know? Um, yeah, generally speaking, when the first, like, so the first thing that I wake up is like, oh, how quickly can I get to the loo? <laughs> and then it's like, oh, what have I got on today? Yeah. yeah. And this it's is not it, yeah. like, I mean, the cur- like, especially now in the summertime, because it's like it's mid June as I record as we record this video. So it's like the height of summer, and the days in like the days in the UK in the height of summer are very very long, like yeah, it's very like at four thirty in the after- in the morning. So my even though I get up at four in the morning, my curtains are still shut because when I go to bed, it's still light because it's light till like <laughs> nine thirty at night. So I go to bed with the curtains shut. And so I open the curtain and I'm not thinking about, is it sunny or like, oh, look at the sunshine or look at the leaves or no. Yeah, it's like, what have I got on today? What, how many meetings have I got today? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and I mean, if you if you love, love what you do and it's like, wow, I've got this meeting and I'm gonna be talking to that person, you know, but think of, so think, having just said that, think of now, think of the energy. What, 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 is, your, what is your energy? Because we're all energy. Emotions are energy and motion. So how you feel affects the thoughts you think, but likewise, the thoughts you think can affect how you feel. So if you immediately go to oh, all those meetings I've got today, where's your energy already? The first thing you wake up in the morning. Well, no, it's not more like, yeah, I get what you're saying. I do get what you're saying. Yeah. It, like the question is more like, oh, who am I meeting today? It's kind of like a curiosity as opposed to a, as a burden, which is a yeah. little bit what you're pointing to. Um, yeah. In the past, I mean, for example, when I used to have my corporate jobs, um and I was by the way fatter than I am now so I think that's quite symptomatic of what it is that you're talking about Suzanne yeah yeah like I used to wake up in the morning and I'd be like oh god here we go again yes exactly uh, Exactly. and, and that's not really how life is now for me because I've been through a transformation and like I'm my business is something that I really love and I but I do get what you're saying and it's like and and I for you know I get the point for me, the point about the pain is it it's a, like that. That's like about physical size, you know, yeah. that for me is a representation of that kind of experience of p- emotional pain. So I get that. Yes. But, um, well, it is when you look at why people are overweight, because nobody is fat. Fat is fat. I am fat. It doesn't is not a, a logical yeah, it's like a label that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 When you look at why people get overweight, you know, that's the cause. Overweight is a symptom. But then what EFT does, you see, is you focus on why I'm overweight and you and you tap on those emotional connections to whatever happened in the past that made you want to start eating to the point that you got overweight. Because overweight is a is, is a reflection of how you feel about yourself, isn't it? When you get overweight, well, you're trying to hide. Exactly. 
it, yeah. it, yes. I mean, for me, overweight was like, and you know, and, and I think your choice of words is really interesting because it's like, we say I am fat, but it's not about, it's not I am fat. Cause it's like that saying that like you are as like, you are fat, like, nailed you are a lump of nailed to the cross of being fat it's like it's more like the reality of it is like i have fat or i have more yes. i carry more weight than i need to carry in my body right and that's a yes. different way of articulating it and i exactly. think what i can what i really hear in what you're saying which is really amazing and i've got a question about this in a minute but it's like for me carrying excess weight was a way of protecting myself it was a way of keeping pretty exactly. keeping, like it was a, it was like moving the boundary of me out so it was like it's your wall it's your wall yeah, of protection it was, it, well it's like I like one of the most important things for myself is about maintaining my own boundaries and I know that um I know that I I weight train, for example. One of the reasons that I weight train is because it makes me physically stronger. And it's like being physically strong is a is a boundary for me in that I want to know that I can defend myself. And so being physically strong is a form of self-defense in a way, right? Yes. Well, and, you have control as well. It's about control as well. You feel more in control of your life. Yes. Yeah. And And being fat was like a similar kind of mentality, but like had a negative impact because it was like bad for my health right whereas yeah. strength training is mostly good for my health and yeah. I am quite mindful not to hit hurt myself and all of that but I think the thing that like the question that I want to ask you uh you know because I hear you talking about EFT as a form of like in the acupuncture acupressure family and all of that and I get like I you know I I know that that works as kind of building working through the energy meridians and all of that but I'm just really curious how does it work to release emotions I just don't like that because that fascinates me but I just don't understand it so like I'd like to hear a bit more about that if that's okay it's I really so when when you tap you send a vibration through the meridian line the, your, your field of energy let's say and it goes up to the amygdala which is where your cortisol and and um Adren I think that's where the adrenaline, definitely cortisol, because what they've done is they've done the research and they've seen how quickly when somebody is in trauma or PTSD or having an anxiety attack, how you release cortisol because you're in that fight or flight uh, environment and, and mind mindset. And what it does when you tap, it sends a vibration through your field of energy and it actually, and you're and especially if you're tapping and saying, I am safe in this moment, I am safe and it calms you down. And it drops your cortisol level. So, because when we go into fight or flight, our logic uh, gets switched off because you don't need to be logical. So, blood is deprived from that part of the brain. So, when you relax yourself, you you, and then you focus. You you drop your cortisol so you can focus and be logical again. And then you focus on what it is you that that is scaring you, and you you rationalize, and it just, I. <laughs> Now you've got me trying to trying to explain it in because I want to do it in a scientific way instead of a woo woo way, but it, it just it it just disconnects that emotion because you're 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 appealing to the logical side of your brain instead of the subconscious. The subconscious is there by a created through habit. You you have something happen to you. Yeah. And the more traumatic it is, the more you're likely to remember it because it was a, a situation that threatened you. So your subconscious wants to keep you safe. Once you get your cortisol levels down, you can be logical and rational. And you say, in this moment, there's nothing for me to worry about. I am safe. Right. And then you replace it with the positive. Right. Is it... Is it connected to our pair? Like there's a, so we have in our, in our central nervous systems, we have like two sets of nervous systems. There's the sympathetic nervous system, which uh, revolves yes. around like fight or flight. And then there's the parasympathetic nervous system, which is connected, connected to our vagus nerve, which runs out of our skulls down to our stomachs, like down the back of yes. our neck. I'm only just beginning to learn about the vagus nerve because up till now it hasn't really been relevant because EFT works. So why it works, I've never really gone into okay. it. I just think right okay but this does make sense. actually the, like this does make sense because because the parasympathetic nerve the parasympathetic nervous system is actually what like is is like the it's the the 
the experience, the kind of physical experience that we have when we're practicing a Savasana in yoga, for example, and it's like a very calm, very relaxing. Calming. Yeah. And, and the, and it has our kind of chattering mind, which you've been talking about in terms of that inner critic that has all those limiting beliefs and yeah. negative decisions that come from the past kind of quieten down, shut, stop talking to us, which means that we can then make better decisions for ourselves and exactly so, information differently yeah i understand that okay and turning on the turning off the sympathetic nervous system and turning and activating the parasympathetic nervous activating system. that's it yes yeah. yes uh, um, yeah okay it, that makes it, sense it's it understanding how to the difference so when you drop your cortisol level that is yeah. where it's, switching happens yeah and so you, it's connected to the more sorry carry on it's connected yes. to the hormones and the nervous system right you know who yeah. else is really good about this everybody and i don't i don't know do you know much about dr joe dispenser dr joe dispenser talks a lot about this stuff 100 percent. i i take his works and bruce lipton's work and eft and i combine them in my program because oh, joe, joe dispenser, about that. <laughs> yeah, because joe dispenser is about quantum but yes so so this is it um you know and at the end of the day a lot of what we're talking about the average person is sort of like huh uh, <laughs> so when you say to so when you what i try and do is i simple uh simplify it which is um so that's where i say you know at the end of the day what i'm doing is i'm taking that traumatic situation and I'm tapping with you in, on your field of energy. And we are going to disconnect the negative emotion, that negative thought. Why do you have that negative thought? I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. Those thoughts all come from somewhere. And we never stop to say, why am I having that thought? And those thoughts go back to a belief because a lot of it happens in our childhood. And people say, oh, I'm just going to sweep it under the carpet. But the thing is, you can sweep as much as you want under the carpet, but it's still there. It's under the carpet. <laughs> so until you address it, you are not going to be able to move on. You're not going to be able to heal. You're not going to be able to let it go. And that's what tapping does. It stops the anxiety attacks. It stops the panic attacks. It stops that negative inner critic. Let me tell you, it does. People say to me, what do you think? And I go, huh? Nothing, actually. And it's, it's not possible to think nothing. Yeah, it is. It's an art. And that's what Joe Dispenza talks about. He yeah. teaches you how to let go of matter, of what's yeah. happening here and now in your head, and to become nothing, nowhere, no thing, no one. Yeah, his... his his pro his stuff is really good i totally agree and it, I, just as a recommendation he's got a whole program on gaia that is uh i think it's called becoming supernatural or something like that but anyway yeah, that's just that's stuff that. is really good unfortunately suzanne time being what it is because you know only 15 minutes becoming supernatural there but there let's how, what's the best way for people to get in touch with you because i think what you talk about is fascinating how would how would my audience get in touch with you what's the best way in all honesty the best way because everybody is different i know people go oh i'm not going to phone because she's going to pitch and things like that but you know what i just want to have conversations because sometimes it just having a conversation is more than enough and the way to do that is to go to my website it's really simple there's only three buttons up there and one is to book a call okay you know? great. And, it, and it's simple because it's suzanne ellison dot coach you can get it. and you'll yeah. find you'll find a link underneath this video in yeah. the description box so go and click the link and book time to speak with Suzanne we weren't meant to live life in deprivation and pain and anxiety so just just book a call and let's have a conversation fantastic thank you so much for joining us Suzanne Ellison you are definitely an interesting and inspiring woman thank <laughs> you for being on the BU channel be extraordinary and empowered you thank you very much thanks Suzanne thank you Thank you.